You're spending a lot of money or time or both driving people to your website. Did you know that you can create a remarketing audience of those people and target them at a later date? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna do in today's video. I'm gonna show you how you can use Google Ads or Google Analytics to create an audience segment based on people who've been to your website. We're gonna start it from scratch and it only takes a few minutes to do. Hey, if we haven't met yet, my name's Scott Redgate. I'm an online marketing coach and I've been in digital marketing for over 13 years. The purpose of this channel is to help you make more and spend less in your online marketing efforts and give you the confidence that you need that you can manage your own digital marketing campaigns without hiring an expensive agency that doesn't understand your business to do it for you. Hey, since you're watching this video, I have a free gift for you. It's my PPC cost cutting cheat sheet. You can get it at scottredgate.com slash cheat sheet, or I'll leave a link in the description below. Dozens of businesses like you have used this document to save thousands of dollars inside of their Google ads account, and you can get your copy today for free. All right, without further ado, let's hop into the screen share where I'll show you how you can create a remarketing audience inside of Google Ads. All right, so we are going to create a remarketing audience in Google Ads. Now, there's two ways that you can do this. All right, so you can create audiences inside of Google Analytics 4, and then you can essentially import them into Google Ads or you can create the audience right inside of Google Ads. Now there's pros and cons for each. Um, if you import them from Google Analytics 4, you can get a little bit more robust with your segmentation and the type of audience that you're creating. Google Ads, it's a little bit more cookie cutter, but it is faster to do. So what we're gonna need to do to be able to create the audience is underneath this tools option, you're gonna see shared library, and then you're gonna see this section right here which says audience manager. So we're gonna select that. And to create an audience inside of Google Ads, what you're gonna do is select this plus button that says create remarketing list. And then we're gonna select website visitors. And so now we're greeted with this screen that says segment name. So you can call this anything you want. Typically you would describe the segment that you're creating. And so I'm gonna say all website visitors. All right. And then it says, select the type of visitors from which you want to create a segment. So you can do vid visitors of web pages or visitors of pages with specific tags. So we're gonna do this one right here, visitors of specific pages, and then include people who have taken the following actions, okay? So the default is set up to web page visit in the last 30 days. Now you can refine this, so you could say, you know, the last 14 days or what have you. We'll keep it at the default here. Um, and then uh, you could go in and you could refine the action or you could create and statements to make it a little bit more specific. But for this purpose, we're just cre gonna create a basic audience targeting people that have been on our website in the past 30 days and these default settings are helping us to do this, okay. All right, so now we're gonna scroll down here and it says pre-fill options. Pre-fill segment with people from the last 30 days. Um, you can either do that or you could start this from scratch. And so if you wanted to do that, you would select this option right here, which says start with an empty segment. Um, but we're gonna go pre-fill segment with people who've matched the rules within the past 30 days. And then down here, you can describe it. So we're gonna say all website visitors within the past 30 days. Excellent. All right. So now you click here, which is create segment. And now this is going to take some time to populate. And so you can check back in here in a day, or I think Google just said populates in up to 72 hours. So you can check back in a day or two and see if it has filled up. And then you can see what your audience size is um, that you could target that audience using search, YouTube, display, and Gmail. Now, let's say you don't just wanna target anyone and everyone who's been to your website. Let's say you wanna get a little bit more specific. Let's go back into that same screen that we were just in. So we'll click the plus sign, create remarketing list, website visitors, and this looks very familiar. Now we're gonna say uh, segment name, and let's say that you wanna target everyone who has been on your blog. And let's say all of your blog pages contain slash blog slash in their URL. So what you could do is blog visitors, as the segment name and then here it says segment members we're going to keep with this but the section that we would adjust on this screen is here where it says refine action and what you would do is page url contains and then so in this example if we want to target people who have been on our blog we would simply put slash blog slash all right 
And so that is going to target people who have been on my website within the past 30 days who have went who have been on pages that contain slash blog slash. Okay. All right. And the similar thing, you could add exclusions as well, and you could do that right here. And then the same thing here, pre-fill options, we'll keep that with the default. And then we'll just say blog visitors within the past 30 days. And then we'll click create segment. And same as before, it's gonna take a little bit to serve and um, it can take up to 72 hours, Google said. And you'll see here it says populating. Now, something to note, um, Google has a minimum for how or how small the audience can be in order for you to target. So if you get less than 1,000 um, uh, people visiting your website in a in a 30-day period or whatever it is, the parameters that you selected, um, that audience is going to be too small. So you have to have over 1,000 of whatever it is you're targeting um, for Google to be able to target them inside of Google Ads. Okay, so that's that's how you can create an audience inside of Google Ads, but let's say you wanna get a little bit more sophisticated and you wanna create an audience in Google Analytics 4 and then essentially import that in to Google Ads. You have that option as well. It's not as simple as what we just did, but it's not too complex. So what you would do in this instance is you would click the plus sign, create remarketing list, and then down here, you'll see Google Analytics 4 and it says people imported from Google Analytics 4. So we're gonna select that. And I have not linked the two in this audience manager yet, so we're gonna do that as well. And so it says select a Google Analytics property. I'm gonna select my GA4 property here. And now it says to create audiences for this GA4, GA property, enable imports, import Google Analytics. And this button wasn't properly loading, but let's go ahead and do this. I'm just going to toggle both of these options to on so that I can properly link them and be able to import Google Analytics audiences. And now we'll select save. And now it says by clicking continue, you'll open a Google Analytics workspace. All audiences will be saved in Google Ads as segments and on the GA property as audiences. Audiences will be also saved to any accounts linked to the GA property via audience sharing. So we're gonna select continue, that sounds fine to me. Four. So I'm still technically in Google Ads, but this is essentially a Google Analytics 4 window. And so let's say that we wanted to use one of the um, suggestions from what Google has here. They do have a few audiences that you can select right here. So they've got recently active users, non-purchasers or purchasers, if you have an e-commerce website, seven day inactive users, seven, seven day inactive users, seven day inactive purchasers. And then they have some templates that you can select from and they even have some prediction options. And I guess my account is not eligible to use this quite yet. But what we're gonna do is create a custom audience. All right, so again, this is, we're creating an audience in Google Analytics 4, and then that essentially imports into Google Ads. And the benefit to this is you can get a little bit more customized and you can be a little bit more specific with the audiences than just what we saw in Google Ads, which was essentially creating audiences based on page URLs. So let's say, for example, you wanted to target a specific region or a specific geography, and you wanna create an audience based on that. What you can do is in this section right here where it says include users when, we're gonna look for something that is geography and here it is right here. And then let's say you wanna target people within a specific country, okay? So I select a country, then I'm say country contains and then it's going to give us some options here and so I'm based in the United States so let's say I wanna create an audience of people that are based in the United States as well. I can select that and then it gives you the option do you wanna do for any point in time. I'll keep that selected as well and we'll click apply. Now on the right side here, it's going to give you um, an, an estimate essentially of that audience for the criteria that you put in. And so remember, you have to have an audience that's over 1,000 in size. And so you can start to see if the audience that you're creating is going to be eligible by looking at this right panel here. But let's say I wanna continue with this audience right here. So I'm gonna name it here. I'm gonna say United States Visitors. And then here on this right-hand side right here, it says membership duration. And we're gonna keep that to 30 days, the default. And then if you're satisfied with this group, you can select save or 
You can get more granular with it if you have a large enough uh, audience size and you can get more specific. You could do cities or you could do exclusions or what have you. And then we're gonna select save. Awesome, and so we've just got a notification that says you, you've successfully created a Google Analytics user segment called United States Visitors. And so we're happy with that. So we're gonna select done. And then just like with the audiences that we just created, um, it is now in this segment list and it can take some time to populate. So even though it says too small to serve, um, give it 72 hours to make sure that that message is correct. Um, but you can see right there, we just created an audience using Google Analytics 4. And let's go back in there as well, now that we have it properly linked. And let's go into GA4 and I'll show you some of the other options for the types of audiences that you could create. So we're gonna do create a custom audience. And so you can do this based on demographics. Um, if you have an e-commerce website, there's a bunch of stuff that you could do in terms of the types of products and brands that they're looking at on your website. Um, you could do geography like we just did. You could do uh, audiences based on the types of pages that they're looking at on your website or page title contains. Really the possibilities are endless here. Um, you could do it based on the date that they were on your website, the traffic source. So maybe you want to look at users who came from an email or came from social media or came from Google ads. You could identify and segment those users to create an audience as well. So um, a lot more options if you're going to create an audience in Google Analytics 4 and then import them in to Google ads than if you just create the audience, uh, the remarketing audience inside of Google ads. But the benefit of creating it inside of Google Ads, it was so quick to do. Um, and it's a little bit less complicated. Hey, I hope that was helpful. If it was, could you do me a favor? Could you like this video and subscribe to my channel to give me a little momentum in YouTube's algorithm? Take care.